get on the curve. Bo Jackson. Uh, Bo Jackson was, a, you know, one of the greatest athletes of all time, a two-sport athlete, a guy I really admired growing up. And then finding out after reading his book, you know, we share a lot of the same interests. He's a huge outdoorsman and also was very committed and dedicated to being the best in the world at his sports. It happened actually in a training ride, and it actually happened with a fan. And uh, a, a fan actually won uh, an auction to go for a bike ride with me, and we were talking a little bit about how bike handling is important, and he was commenting how I'm, you know, he thought I was the best bike handler in the world. And at the same time, we are going around a corner, and I said, yeah, you got to be careful in gravel in corners like this. And as immediately as I said that, I crashed with this fan in a charity ride. So it was pr pretty embarrassing at the same time. I got up to tell him, that's not what you want to do. like spending time in the outdoors. Uh, being more specific, probably in a tree stand with my bow and arrow in the fall. It's, uh, it's about the time when I do my best thinking. Uh, I love hunting. I love deer hunting. I travel all over the country uh, hunting with my bow and arrow. So yeah, if I'm not racing something, I'm usually hunting something. So that's where, that's where I, I like to be. Yeah, I was your typical American kid, I would say. You know, I was into everything. I loved riding my bike. I loved playing baseball, football. I loved wrestling. I liked horse playing. It was all good. Uh, I, I, I found cycling to really be, you know, the sport that I was drawn to once I was introduced to it. And uh, the reason being is cycling really is, you know, it's all about you and, and pushing yourself. And uh, there's no one to blame at the end of the day. There's no teammates that... Uh, uh, may not be putting in the same effort that you are. And uh, that's why I was really drawn to cycling. But growing up, you know, I was just like every other kid, you know, playing in the dirt, playing in the sand, playing football, baseball, and uh, just living the American lifestyle.